Kathy Griffin just suffered humiliating public meltdown and makes shock admission, Kathy Griffin looked like she was radicalized by Islam when she held a decapitated Trump head in a lame shock picture. Then she posted an extremely fake I just woke up and have no makeup and I'm so sorry apology video to social media. Now she's having a press conference and she's just gone full retard. Literally the most full retard that anyone can go. Griffin seems like she's turned the press conference into a woe is me and I'm the victim of bullying suck fest filled with complaints. She's wincing her wrinkled eyes and blubbering nonsense like she's relevant to anyone, when before this incident, a lot of people had no idea she ever existed. Even I was like who the f asterisk ck is Kathy Griffin. I thought it might be a new character on Family Guy or perhaps Kathy Lee Gifford and I heard it wrong. This horrible bag of tricks was promoting Squatty Potty a few weeks ago and now she's possibly unemployed and holding press conferences to pretend she's a victim. Her face looks like a wrinkled dog anus with lipstick and her voice sounds like a desperate crow prostitute looking for a few bucks to get a quick drug fix. She just makes it worse every time she talks about the picture with Trump's head. Own your picture, keep it posted, and move on. Stop being such a weak victim mentality liberal. It's all fake nonsense and no one cares. She is literally creating fake news. Rather than accept what she had done was wrong, Kathy Griffin brought race and sex into her plight and blamed old white males for her downfall. Griffin mentioned old white men holding her down. Maybe that's a bunch of old creeps in an hourly hotel having their way with OL makeup face herself. Or maybe she's referring to business people in her industry preventing her from getting jobs. Kinda like an old white, orange, male prevented Hillary from getting that one job in the White House. Yeah, remember that. Election 2016 was a good time. As per the tweet below, Jack Posobiec C points out that Griffin mentioned that this wouldn't happen to a guy. Sure it would. If Hillary was president and some washed-up meatbag hack comedian toilet product guy with as much makeup and eye wrinkles as Kathy Griffin held Clinton's head on a stick, then you can be sure he would get the same pushback from Clinton fans. Griffin said she's getting death threats. That comes with the territory. When you show the president's head cut off, then don't be shocked when people knock on your inbox with some mean tweets or nasty emails. This wouldn't be happening to a guy. This is a woman thing, people who sign my checks are white guys. Kathy Griffin Jack Posobiec C United States, at Jack Posobiec C, June 2nd. 2017 Kathy Griffin has photos of her being all cuddly with the Donald and nowadays she's a victim. She pushed hard and was pushed back even harder. The only thing pressing the hardest is the makeup brush she uses to paint that skeletal face of hers. The video below is from her lousy press conference where she talks about not being afraid of Donald Trump. Why would she be afraid of him? The last picture of her that I saw was her being chummy pals with Trump on what looked like a golf day. So what all of a sudden changed? What's the point of saying she's dealt with older white guys holding her down? If she's referring to being held down in her career, then I don't believe that at all. She's simply not very talented, so it's not the old white guys holding her down. It's her. She's not the greatest talent in the world. She might be the equivalent of the seventh man off the bench of a basketball team. Barely good enough to be on the team, but certainly no star. Kathy Griffin, I'm not afraid of Donald Trump. He's a bully. I've dealt with older white guys trying to keep me down my whole life. If Donald Trump is a bully, then what do you call her? She held his fake decapitated head covered in fake blood like she was radicalized, but she's not a bully? That doesn't make her any worse than Trump? Donald likes to tweet viciously, but has he ever held a replica human head to strike fear into anyone on Twitter? She's the bully. She's the turd. She needs scrub that makeup off and get a job, because after being fired from CNN and Squatty Potty, what else does she have left? Maybe she can work at Target where they let transgenders in the wrong bathroom. She's starting to look like a tranny with all that makeup and horrible attitude. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them and follow up. And thanks for watching.